Stop. Yes, you. I want you to stop acting like a victim. Many of you will say, Nico, I don't act a victim. I have my two hands on the steering wheel and I drive my Bugatti to wherever I want to. And if you tell me that, you are just like most of my high rolling clients. Yes, they are world champions. They are CEOs of companies that overturn millions every month. They are exceptional people. But every time when I ask them the following clarifying questions, they have to acknowledge, and I can promise you they do not like it. They have to acknowledge that they are acting like a victim more than they would like to admit. And I bet that it will be the same for you too. Where in your life are you complaining? Where in your life are you wasting your precious attention, your precious time, energy and even your precious conversations to focus on everything that is wrong instead of using all these resources to find solutions for problems you can find solutions for or to find ways of coping to situations that you cannot change, that are outside of your control. For example, a lot of people these days are complaining about the costs of energy. Instead of complaining, why don't we focus on how we can make more money so this becomes less of an issue? What to do? Stop complaining and replace it with finding solutions. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to stop using excuses. What is an excuse? Finding a reason to excuse behavior that you don't want to do, not doing behavior that you want to do. For example, you can think about people that give a reason for smoking, for eating things that is not good for their health, or for not working out. The reason is that the focus is too much on the short-term benefits of the unsustainable behaviors and not on the long-term costs of these behaviors. And so one of the best ways to step outside of this victim mentality where you find reasons why you don't do what you want to do is to refocus from short-term benefits on long-term costs. And when you do this, these long-term costs will start to overshadow those short-term benefits and you will start to do what you intend to do. And then last but not least, I want you to stop using labels. I want you to stop labeling, judging yourself, situations or other persons because you are oversimplifying situations and the what is possible. It is a way of our brain to be lazy, to literally do not acknowledge the fact that the way we feel, the way we act, the way we are changes moment by moment. An example that I see often is, uh, I'm ADHD, I can't focus. I have a diagnosis as a person with ADHD, but do I use that as an excuse not to focus? No, I know that I have ADHD, so I know that if I want to be able to focus, I have to find things that are really interesting to me. You have to become aware of the variability in your internal experience or in the experience with other people. For example, you can say, oh, my mom is such a nag. But what you might not realize is that every time you react strongly to your mom, that's the only moment she gets attention from you because you consider her a nag. And so she prefers you lashing out than ignoring her. A much better way is to start becoming aware of those moments that she's not nagging that much. A moment that she says, oh, this was a nice meal, for example. And then pay her a lot of attention. But if you brand her as a nag, you will not even notice those moments. To summarize, to stop acting like a victim, you have to stop complaining, using excuses and stop labeling and start looking for ways in which you can improve the situation.